Class example number two on page 117. So in this one, we're going to take a look at dividing um, radicals again. But the difference here is that sometimes the radicands don't divide out completely. Okay, so in previous examples when we had 30 divided by 6, the 30 and 6 divided out nicely to become 5. But you'll notice in this example over here, our 54 and 8 don't divide out nicely at all. So what do you do if you can't divide it out? So what one another strategy is, what they say over here, is to first simplify your numerator and denominator. That means simplify the radicands and then see if they will divide. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 54 and try to um, simplify this radicand. And one way is to get our perfect square root 9 out of there, leaving with a root 6. And doing the same thing for our denominator, we get 4 and 2. So what does that give us then? This will give us 4 times 3 root 6. And this gives us 3 times 2 root 2. Now you can see that our radicands will in fact divide each other out. So in this case, this will end up becoming 1, and this will end up becoming 3. Okay. What do we do with the numerators? So if you're comfortable by reducing these numerators when they're already in factored form, please do so. So that means the 3 will reduce the 3, the 4 will be, is reduced by the 2. If not, in fractions and in, especially in the factored form, are not, you're not comfortable with them. Go right ahead and multiply them. So this becomes 12 root 3 over 6. Don't need to write root 1. And then divide it out. So you'll get the same answer, which is 2 root 3. So again, we divided numerical coefficients with numerical coefficients and radicand with radicand. The only difference in this example was we had to first simplify them. Okay, And the same thing would happen if we had, let's say, part C making sure the index are the same, which they are. We can divide it out, but again, these numbers, 162 and 128, don't divide out completely. So what you would do is you would try to uh, simplify each one of them. So this would, you would be able to take a 27 out. That would be a perfect cube, leaving with root, uh, cube root 6 over 20, and in 128, we're going to get a perfect cube root of 64, and we're left with a 2, okay? And again, if we write that down again, this will give me a 3, cube root 6, and in the denominator, we have 20, and this gives me a 4, and we're left with cube root 2. So once again, you can multiply this out, and this will give you 30 over 80. And then we have cube root 6 over cube root 2. And we use the same rules. These will reduce each other, so it will be both divided by 10, leaving me with 3 over 8. And this reduced down to 1, and this becomes a 3. So our final answer is 3 over 8 cube root of 3. So again, I would like you guys to try this middle one on your own. See if you can uh, get the same answer. An answer is our on the lesson page. And if you get this answer, move on to the next example. If not, then come back and see how I finish this question. Okay, so go right ahead and pause this video and try the, the, this part. Okay, so let's take a look how this one gets simplified. Again, I can't divide 126 with 112. So what we're going to do is we're going to simplify this. It ends up becoming cube root, uh, sorry, this is square root of 9 and 14. And in the denominator, we have 16 over and 7. Okay, so in this case, we can take a root of 9, so that gives me 3. 14 stays as it is. 16 becomes a 4 and 7. So again, if you're okay reducing, go right ahead. If not, then go first multiply, and then you can reduce them. So in this case, when you reduce this, this gives you 6. 
and this ends up giving you a two. And that becomes your final answer.